Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back and today we are going to start decorating our topical journal. I have picked a topic of salvation slash eternal life because I thought it might be good to have something ready in case I meet someone who's kind of on the cusp, edge, ready, almost ready to accept Christ as their savior. And so I thought it would be a blessing to have all the, you know, the verses to help them get started and to explain what it means. Um, yeah, so that's why I decided to go with that topic first. Um, I have some rice paper that I made with napkin. It was same as the cover, only it's green. And so what I want to do is make a pocket in the shape of a heart. And of course it needs to fit. Needs to fit in our page. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. See how it works. And that's too big. Could make it like a tuck. Or across the middle. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't have to start in the middle of the book either. Just kind of end it up there because it was open there. But I think it would look kind of nice there. Probably look nice anywhere. If I made it a bit smaller, I could usually like doing them twice because I find that they don't look nicer when you monkey with them but let's see it's not bad but I did kind of mess up the corner of the center Okay, so something like that. Then to glue it down, we want the opening here. That would work. All right, so grabbing my glue. It'll stick out a little bit if I don't get it right in the That'll be okay. Yeah, so if you don't know how to make faux rice paper, um, I'm not sure. I think I did, I think I did a video on it. Um, there, I know there's lots of them on YouTube. But I have another tutorial of something that I want to do that involves full rice paper. And if you are interested at all, then you should probably 
get familiar with that because it's going to be a good one. If you like jewelry, you're going to love it. Um, what I should do, what I should have done is I should have inked the edges and I forgot so Okay, I did a little something. Okay, so that's one pocket. So I'm going to fill these up as I go because I did say that I was going to um, present scripture. And so I feel like I want to do that. That one's too big. One will work. All right, we're gonna read that one today. Psalm 46, verse 4. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. So, this card I got from uh, makingandcreating.com, formerly known as the Digital Collage Club. Uh, I get a lot of my stuff from there. Uh, I do want to round the corners a bit. this let's put it in there like so that way they'll see the pretty colors and when they pull it out they'll see the verse now I'm not sure how many verses I'm gonna end up with in the end here's another one I got going to be small enough for this pocket. Luke 19 verse 10. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. I do like that one. So I'm going to put this in here as well. I think I need a little more ink. It's funny when you get used to seeing ink on your pages and such. You miss it when it's not there. Alright, so that's that one. So we have one pocket complete. I like that. I see a doily on my paper, which I like. I might end up doing something else with doilies in here. All right, so there's already a pocket that we made. And I have another. So 
so what I ended up doing for the most part, I mean, I'll use some index cards, but um, for right now, what I decided to do was write the verses and use the journaling cards to do so. And I actually made some journaling cards that I'm going to put on my coffee page. Um, yeah, they're going to be on my coffee page. I might charge a little bit for them. I haven't decided yet. But if I do charge for those ones, I will also put up a freebie. Um, so anyways, this verse. But if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. Because we are, we know that we are saved by grace. Okay, so that's that one. And let's see, what else can we do? Alright, so I've been sewing magazine pages onto this, um, what do you call it, wrapping stuff that you get in packages. And so I thought this would make a nice pocket. So I'm just going to cut it out. I actually bought a sewing machine just so that I could mess around with it for journals. I know it's a little extreme, but I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so I'm going to edge this as well. My other inker is in me kitchen because I was working on something there. So I just have this color right now. That's okay. Yeah, so because this was a magazine page, it wasn't very strong. So I sewed it to this craft colored paper so that it would give it a bit more stability. Okay, so I have to figure out, I think that way is going to be the best way. And then of course to find a place for it. be just a straightforward pocket. Shall we make a tuck out of it? How about we make a tuck out of it because it's not very wide. And I've only got these really wide verses. Yeah, I could make them smaller, but I don't really want to. So I think what I'm going to do is just make this a tuck. In which case, I'm just going to put glue on the bottom. <laughs> I just had to look and see if I was still recording because I got the feeling like I was talking to myself. Alright, so there's a tuck. Exodus 15 verse 2. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will extol him. Well, 
that first too. This is another page from Digital Collage, although it was a different size and I messed with it. Alright, so that can go in there like so. And I was thinking it would be nice to maybe put a label on here or something. been wanting to use up these color strips that I watercolored. I think this journal is small enough that I could actually use this as a belly band. Maybe on this side, on this page, because it has some green in it already. I think though what I'm going to do is make this a little smaller. Around the edges. I'm going to ink the edges and then I'm thinking whether I need to highlight the, the individual color boxes with something because they kind of, I need some, I think they need to somehow pop. What if? This is my inky bronze pen. Let's try something here. Okay, so it's not, you know what, it didn't really come out right at the beginning here. I didn't want to shake it because like I said, it's been leaking on me, so I hate to throw these out. There, so I've got a bit of a thick border. That's okay. I think I like it. I like that too. I think it just all depends on the shades. But since I did the green one, you know what? Mm. I think it has to be this one. So, I'm not going to use the bronze for this one though. I'm going to try black on this one. I don't know, I just feel like they need to have a box around them. Yeah, a little bit of I think it adds a little some, a little more texture, a little more dimension. Makes it look not quite so flat. All right, so then, <laughs> if you're wondering what the design is on the back here, I bought this um, watercolor pad from the dollar store and it was just horrible. It had um, designs already in there, but the paper itself was like this shiny thing and I'm like how is the water even supposed to penetrate in there so anyways I did these on the back all right so now we have like a belly band on the side and we can decorate that 
And two, we can put more scripture in there. So obviously that's going to be too long. What I was thinking though, what we could do is cut this in half. I could add this one to the pocket. I'm thinking I should have looked for a label for that belly band. Maybe a cluster of something. Well, the beauty of this project is it doesn't have to all be done in one sitting. All right. So let's see. I'm going to test my abilities to make a cluster on the spot here. This is my material junk. I have a lot more buttons somewhere else, but I'm just doing this on spec here. So something like that maybe some lace since I got the blue there all right let's see got some extra Braid stuff over there. And then I think I need some thread. I found this blue. I thought it might be nice. What I want to do is not double it, but probably quadruple it because I have a plan. All right, I'm just gonna, oh, it needs to go around one more. Something like that. Okay. First of all, well, what I'm gonna do is sew the cluster together might have to go down yeah I need to go down because I want some of the thread to poke out there if my sewing isn't the greatest I can still use glue but I wanted to keep this out so I could tie a knot after So I'm just gonna, oops. Okay, that'll do for now. Make sure I have enough there to actually do what I wanted to do. Which was to tie a knot. This is actually so hard to see. Sorry guys. Okay, one more knot. All right, I wanted it to be messy anyway, so. It works out, right? Yeah, I wanted the thread to show. That was my brilliant plan there. All right, so then Right on the edge, like so. I think that's what I want to do. And I should have heated this up. So I got this glue gun. My husband picked it out because it had the, the battery operated. Um, so I'm trying it. 
I now have a total of three glue guns, so I have plenty. Alright, so that... will go there. And then I think I'm just gonna do a little extra under the tag so it doesn't move too much. Something like that. There, I think that ties in kind of nice. And then we can Oh, that's funny. It turned itself off. Oh, because it has to be charged. I used it quite a bit. Oh, well, that's okay. I got what I needed, so. Isn't that funny how it works? Um, I'll tell you what I mean in a second here. See this blue? Blue complements green, right? And then I picked this verse, and I didn't look at the back, but see here, the blue matches, complements. So there's that. Now, it will fit, because it was made for that spot. I may not put it in all the way, just so some of the blue sticks out still. All right, I didn't read this yet, though. Isaiah 1, verse 18. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are as scarlet, they will be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they will be like wool. So, and to, if I wanted to, I could write something else there. But so far, I haven't really thought that far ahead. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there for today. We did quite a bit. And uh, we will continue next time. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the cover yet, so we'll... Maybe tackle that next time or down the road sometime. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you uh, got something out of this. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.